Welcome to the Type 40 TT Capsule Pilot Training Manual. Customizing the console room with the desktop configuration. Every Type 40 TT capsule can be customized to the user's preference. The style of control room and size of control room are flexible due to the inner's Omega complex. Each system will have a configurator which allows the local environment changes. Most of these changes involve the brightness and color of the lighting scheme, which can affect the appearance of the overall console. This configuration change is instant and can be experimented with at will. Every console room will have a variety of colors and lighting schemes available. These can be set and reset at will and will not affect the inner controls or inner interior rooms of the system. Some console rooms can even have its overall lighting changed to fit the preferred optic sensors of the individual occupants. The other control is the desktop configurator that actually changes the console room itself. There are currently three main forms of console room. As the entire room must be reconstructed, the capsule must be vacated while these settings changed. You may then immediately re-enter the console room to see your new layout. These controls are available for all consoles and may be experimented with at will. Configuration happens immediately, whereas desktop configuration requires vacation of the room. Once your conditions have been set, you may now add furniture and other conveniences. Please be aware that consoles that appear same, similar may have their controls in different locations. So please study your consoles and get used to controls so that you may quickly and efficiently find the settings that you need. These settings are purely cosmetic and have no effect on the overall operation of the capsule. Part of the capsule's defense system is the chameleon interface. This controls the appearance of the outer shell when the capsule materializes on site. It will do an automatic scan of its local vicinity to determine an outer shell appearance that would be discreet. However, you may also select an outer shell that you prefer. Once the shell has been determined, you may then open the door and emerge and see what the appearance has become. These transformations are immediate, and you may go through a variety to see which ones you prefer. Occupants are reminded the first rule of active camouflage, and to park somewhere they will remember. Fortunately, this capsule is also equipped with a radio homing beacon, so if you happen to forget the appearance or location of your capsule, you may follow this beacon and find where you parked. Some shells may not have an obvious entry. This does not matter for the occupant. Even if there is no obvious aperture, as long as you are holding the correct key, the pilot and their companions may approach and enter the capsule freely. This is the Type 40 TT Capsule Pilot's Training Manual.